I'll share with you something that is very personal. Okay. Um, you know, on the 10th was my wedding anniversary. Thanks to Facebook, I was able to find that. Others, I'm very bad at dates. I don't even, sometimes I forget when is my daughter's birthday, wife's birthday. My birthday, I remember, but I don't celebrate. So, you know, dates I'm not very good at. Okay. So, <laughs> when I found out that my so-called wedding anniversary was and thankfully I came to know it was six years because six years to this day you know Facebook shows their timeline so then uh, as usual which I always do when there's a special occasion for my wife or my daughter or any you know I always try to ask myself how can I what can I do to make it special for them and I always try to do something that makes them happy. I give them what they want, not what I want. In my wife's case, yeah, she's simple, but she loves gold. Okay. But on the other hand, there are other things that keep her happy. Like she loves to eat prawns or she loves to eat durian, which is a sweet fruit. She likes to buy secondhand clothes for her, for the baby. They'll use it for some time and then they'll they'll give it for free. I told her, no need to sell it, just give it for free. Okay. So, and yes, the other basic things are saving money and all that. So, I decided, initially I told my wife, I've been giving you every month gold and all that. Now, I'm not going to give anything. And for one month, I didn't. Now, came the wedding, this thing. So I was like thinking, I already told her I'm not going to give her gold. Now should I go back on my word and give her a gold or what should I do? So <coughs> for the last two, three days before the 10th, I was scratching my head. Okay, what I did is I took her out for a special meal. Okay, as a family we ate something that she liked. Then they like uh, the Thai fruit, which is durian, which is some people cannot stand the smell or whatever, but it tastes very nice. For me, it's, I don't care much. The smell doesn't bother me. It's a, it's a very umami kind of soft, not super sweet, but it's a great delicacy, but expensive for Thai people. Okay. So my baby, surprisingly, my baby and my wife both love it. So when I buy it, they both hog. And they literally finish it off in a day's time, no matter how much I buy. <coughs> so I bought her this durian fruit. But then, I, I don't know why, for the three, four days that I was thinking, I kept thinking, I'll buy her a gold chain, or I'll buy her a small gold ring. So, <coughs> I decided to break my own rule. Okay? And uh, what I did is, uh, on the 10th, we were, on the 9th, sorry, 9th, I just suddenly told my wife, come, we'll go buy gold. Oh, she was absolutely overjoyed. She was super happy and this and that. And, and just to let you know, I had a budget. The budget was just 4,000 baht. I'll buy her a small ring. Okay. I decided not more than that because I had bought many, many gifts throughout the month. Uh, many times gold and uh, you know, I'm say I'm keeping it for the big day. That is a birthday or whatever that time I buy something very big <coughs> So my budget was say 4,000 When he went there, there is a particular shop that she likes um, Which has many branches <coughs> When she checked um, it Took 15 20 minutes her size was not there and the ones that fit her, she didn't like it so much, but okay. So then I asked this lady, why don't you show me a bracelet? Now bracelet, you know, a thin one, but what happens is it doubles in terms of price. Okay, so now instead of 4,000, I'd have to maybe spend 8,000. So I said, uh, anyway, just see. So they were checking for a bracelet and all that. And there also, <laughs> she couldn't get 
her size either it was too small for her or it was too big and the design she didn't like then i told my wifey okay if that is not there let's have a look at a chain a thin chain so now from 4000 it went to 8000 then it jumped to uh, 20000 okay so here she was looking 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 and finally she managed to get one which i had bought for her mum i bought for her mother and it matched exactly the same design and i remember you know for 6 months we were searching for her to have the matching chain that her mother wanted and uh, i could see the you know my wife's eyes light up and she's like oh why the same chain that my mummy wanted that my ma- my mother got which you bought for my ma it matches and so now she had all this kept there the rings the bracelet and i always ask the person write down what is the cost for each one so we had around like i don't know 9 or 10 items kept there and we are looking at each one and uh, my wife was expecting i'll buy the 4000 baht uh ring even i i decided 4000 is enough don't want to spoil remember never give your partner too much or so much because they'll always expect you to go higher the next time higher the next time higher the next time and uh, i have this habit where every week or every month i keep giving my wife and baby something with my baby it's almost every day so you know ye yeah. you need to be smart how you spend money without spoiling them so my wife knew that i wanted to buy the 4000 that was the max budget but now there was a 8000 bracelet she thought i would go for that <laughs> but then there was a 20000 the chain which matched what her mum got that i got from mum so i thought about it and then finally i decided okay we'll buy the chain now the reason why i'm sharing this with you is not to brag not to show you. in fact many of you will say hey what's the big deal man you only spent 20000 baht it's jack shit it's cheap shit i'll i'll come to that see it's not the question of how much money that i spend uh, all the money that i earn and the thing i keep it as savings tomorrow if i die she has cash that she can access for her and for the baby for the future it's not necessary to buy toys and you know <laughs> items you know <laughs> you really have to have a vision for you know your life i might die tomorrow if you check my previous video a branch nearly nearly fell on me so tomorrow you know i can die uh, you just don't know man like you saw my previous video my my staff had a brain clot died we just spoke few hours ago and she died after a hour or two hours life is unpredictable so <laughs> the goal is not to buy all these expensive toys and super expensive stuff no it is to share moments anyway so coming to you know i had to choose between the ring the bracelet and the chain why i decided to buy the chain the chain is because i thought to myself i'll not get this moment again the 6th year celebration <laughs> i'll not ever get it again she'll only have a memory of this oh in my 6th year he did this on this particular day now believe it or not if i bought my wife only a ring for 4000 which is not expensive should have been very happy but i wanted to give her something that would give her joy and sense of happiness so i said okay fine we'll buy the chain she was shocked she was surprised but she was very happy and then by the way we got married on the day her mother's birthday you know so also send some money for her mother's birthday just to eat something in a nice restaurant so all her children sent some money so she could buy something for her and all that 
my wife doesn't work so obviously i need to you know uh, i need to be understanding <laughs> so i give my wife a kind of a budget how much she can spend per month and yes when she does housework or she does something really nice um, and it's not that i keep it fixed i give her a lot of things <laughs> so what is my message for you through this video it is not to tell you oh i'm such a loving caring amazing husband no the main thing that i want to share with you through this video is <coughs> there's a tendency for us as human beings to take our loved ones for granted we take our loved ones our mothers our father our brother sister children wife spouse husband whomsoever we tend to take close people for granted sometimes can be a mentor can be a mentee can be student can be a teacher can be a colleague business friend and like you know because of the way that we are we tend to not only take them for granted we sometimes we don't even notice that they are there hey doggy like this doggy hey doggy hey doggy this big guy hey doggy ah like like that dog i don't know he's a pit bull or something big dog man he's only 3 months old and he's 10 kgs anyway so you know it's very important that you should not take the ones you love for granted because i'll tell you this if you take them for granted one day you might lose them or one day they'll no longer be there and you'll have nothing but regret in your heart you'll have nothing but that emptiness shish i should have done more i could have done more so don't take people whom you love or people who love you or people who care about you or people whom you care about don't take them for granted and uh, yeah there is a line to be drawn so you should not spoil them they should not pamper them where you like my daughter <laughs> whatever she wants i give her but i don't say yes to everything like the other day we went she wanted to buy like look like a laptop a plastic thing which was hardly like 10 dollars she wanted because i have a laptop and all that she wanted a laptop like me and uh, she asked i refused and I told my wife we don't need to buy this because she'll break it rather than buy her a book where she can read study learn english or thai some language so yeah so my message to you through this video is if you have someone who, who you love if you have someone who is important to you someone you care about never take them for granted make sure that you take care of them you and uh, find out days which can be made special like i always treat my wife every once a week <clears throat> whenever i go out i get something for her and uh, even my baby but draw the balance draw the balance where you don't overdo things you know this is all i wanted to share uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below all right you guys take care so <sighs>